What began as handheld digital pets back in 1997, the Digital Monster sold a huge amount of units. The rising popularity of the Digital Monster device spawned its first manga, Come On Digimon, written by Izawa Hiroshi. This was the beginning of a huge, expanding universe of manga, anime, video games, toys, and so on. Multiple popular anime seasons later, along came the year 2020, where a reboot of the original Digimon Adventure anime began airing. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at episode 1 of the new anime and discussing the different things that happen throughout. The first episode introduces the classic characters Yagami Taichi and Izumi Koshiro, better known by the Western fans as Tai and Izzy, respectively, and is also the episode where they experience the network for the first time. This new Digimon Adventure 2020 series takes place in modern day Tokyo in the current year of 2020, where the days of dial-up are in the past and the internet dominates the planet. The episode opens up with clips that show off key points of the forthcoming episode, and this was enough to grasp my interest straight away. The art style is shown to be incredibly true to the original Digimon Adventure anime, with hardly any changes being made other than updated animation and a 16x9 resolution. The title of this first episode is Tokyo Digital Crisis, where a cyber attack causes all electronics in central Tokyo to malfunction, causing potential major issues for the city, such as hospital equipment failing, for example. After the beautiful opening which shows off all the main cast with their Digimon, we see a huge black orb which then explodes into thousands of Digi-Eggs. The eggs then hatch into countless green and purple Digimon known as Argomon in their in-training form. These are the first antagonists of the Digimon Adventure 2020 series. The episode gives a general overview of what the network is, which is the visual manifestation of what the World Wide Web looks like, in which data takes a physical form. Cut to Tokyo and we see the familiar face of Tai Kamiya, known as Yagami Taichi in the Japanese version, preparing for the kids' camp. This camp was how the Digi-Destined ended up meeting and being sucked into the digital world in the original Digimon Adventure anime. Taichi meets Izumi Koshiro for the first time, who, after hearing about the news, reveals that he has been following the cyber attacks on his tablet and compiling information from various social media posts and websites. Izzy has always been the intelligent one of the group and usually helps them in tough situations. They find out that the Tokyo Yamanote loop line is being affected by the cyber attack. Taichi's mother Yuko and sister Hikari are currently on this train line. So far, I was really invested into this story as in any normal world, this situation would create a huge sense of panic for any regular human being, knowing that their family member was on an out of control train, and that the city was at risk of a blackout. There would be nothing that two regular kids could do to stop this in real life, so the episode already built a sense of panic and intrigue as to how they were going to stop this. However, knowing Digimon decently well, I knew they would eventually end up in the digital world to put an end to the issue. And that is exactly what happened. Taichi jumped the train station barriers with nothing but pure courage, with a strong intent to save his mother and sister at all costs. This selfless and courageous act spurred an anomaly, in both the digital world and the real world, where Taichi heard the voice of Koromon calling out to him. Taichi has some sort of connection to the Koromon inside the digital world, which both human and Digimon felt at this time. Both of them displaying their immense courage caused Taichi to be dragged into the digital world, where he saw Koromon getting blown away. Invoking the courage within him once again, and feeling that strange connection to the monster that he knew nothing about, he launched himself downwards to save Koromon. As soon as they connected, the Crest of Courage was invoked and Taichi's Digivice was created, which instilled a bond between Digimon and partner. All this detailed stuff about how Taichi got dragged into the digital world may not be 100% spot on explanation wise, but that's my interpretation of it at least. With contact between Koromon and Taichi, Koromon evolves into Agumon and starts taking out the Argomon. It's around this time Izumi reveals he also received a Digivice at the same time as Taichi, and can communicate to him through these devices. The anomaly also invoked Izumi's Crest of Knowledge, which upgraded his laptop exponentially, giving him the ability to monitor the network with intense precision, even going as far as to having an exact counter for how many Argomon are currently in Taichi's surrounding area. Taichi and Agumon eventually head over to the data tower where loads of Argomon reside. This mass of virus Digimon is the cause of the central Tokyo cyber attacks, and the reason why the trains on the loop line are out of control. Agumon disposes of these enemy Digimon only to leave one alive accidentally. This one ends up evolving. 
these Argomon were born from their Digi Eggs straight into their in training form. And what I expected when I first saw this final Argomon evolving was a rookie form, so it could go one on one with Agumon in a fair fight. However, it only briefly entered rookie form, deflecting one of Agumon's blasts and then jumping straight to champion form. Digimon being able to evolve straight to a higher form is not uncommon in the world of Digimon, as it's shown plenty of times in the older anime seasons that Digimon such as Agumon can warp Digivolve to a higher form, bypassing any forms in between. Once Agumon enters its champion form, it's almost impossible for Agumon to do any damage. On top of that, the cyber attack in central Tokyo has accelerated, putting the trains on the loop line in danger of collisions. This spurs on Taichi's courage to push further. Invoking his Crest of Courage, he manages to get Agumon to evolve to its champion form, Greymon. I really liked this evolution animation as it did not leave Greymon in danger, as he was still able to attack and defend himself. I just remember back in the days of Digimon the movie, back in the year 2000, where Digimon were usually at a higher risk of damage during the evolution process, being unable to defend themselves properly. However, Greymon appearing out of the ball of light, limb by limb, was nothing short of epic. Taichi used his Digivice and the Crest of Courage to help push Greymon to victory. After an epic beam struggle Dragon Ball Z style, champion form Argomon was defeated and the trains on the loop line were saved. Overall, I thought this episode was a great introduction to a Digimon adventure series that makes use of modern day technology. They've hardly changed anything at all, keeping the same art style, character designs and evolutionary chains, which I love. It is still up in the air at this point if future Digimon Adventure 2020 episodes will change anything else, but with it being classed as a reboot, certain aspects of the media could be taken in slightly different directions. A reboot basically means that it's a fresh new start to a series, completely disregarding all continuity and established rules and storylines, starting anew but keeping it familiar. This is probably why the start of the series is so drastically different to the original Digimon Adventure series from 1999 so far. However, with the mention of the kids club camp, I would assume that they will all eventually meet up at the camp and be dragged into the digital world as a group, similar to the original. The 1999 short movie, simply titled Digimon Adventure, introduced Taichi to Digimon for the first time. This movie took place before the Digimon Adventure anime began, and was also compiled together with two other short movies for the release of Digimon the Movie over in the West. This first short movie showed Taichi as a young child meeting Agumon for the first time. This ended up with Paratmon, a champion Digimon, being hatched into the real world. Agumon evolved to Greymon and put a stop to the Paratmon. Now, this first arc of the new Digimon Adventure 2020 could be a modern day version of this short movie to introduce Taichi and Izumi and the viewers to Digimon. Plus, with the introduction of Matt, known as Yamoto in Japanese, astride Garurumon at the end, it seems this arc could go on for a few more episodes yet. Eventually, I believe they will meet the other Digidestined at the camp and start the next arc, which is where the original Digimon Adventure anime started. I'm not disappointed in this start at all, as it's a nice introduction to Digimon, not just for three of the Digidestined, but also for the viewers. So far, it feels like it'll be a reboot that is great for longtime fans of the series, as well as newcomers. I'm not gonna lie when I say I'm a classic Digimon fan and only really watched the first two Digimon Adventure seasons. However, it seems this new 2020 series does not require its viewers to have any prior knowledge of the Digimon universe. If you've never seen the shows or played any of the games, I would say that you could pick this up from the start, as it loosely explains the idea of Digimon within the digital world in this first episode. I expect it will explain the evolutionary chain of Digimon in future episodes, potentially when they make it into the digital world properly. I also really like the design of the champion form of Argomon, as it reminded me of something like the giant flower from Jumanji or Plant 42 from Resident Evil. I'm excited to see Yamato and Taichi's first interaction together in this reboot and to see their friendship evolve over time. I'm also looking forward to see the rest of the Digidestined, even though we did get a brief view of them in this episode, I'm looking forward to seeing their first experience with Digimon. Also, I'm interested to see whether they will follow the original and make Devimon the first main villain of the series. I really enjoy enjoyed Devimon and Myotismon as main villains in the original adventure series, and would love to see them done in a modern day reboot. Anyway, that's it for the review of the first Digimon Adventure 2020 episode. What did you think of the first episode? Could you see yourself watching more of the series? And do you also think Devimon will be used as the first major villain? Let me know in the comments below. Also, it would be great if you could click that subscribe button to keep up to date with my latest uploads. If you want me to review the second episode of the Digimon Adventure 2020 reboot, give that thumbs up button a click to let me know. 
If this video gets 5 likes, I'll do a review of episode 2. If you don't want to miss the next video I upload, make sure you click the notification bell icon, because then you'll be informed when I next upload a video, be it JoJo related or Digimon related. Thanks for watching everyone, Bizarre Star Platinum, out!